Welcome to another video. This is tips, tricks, more of a demonstration of a technical side. I'm uh, going to show you how to consolidate Windows 8 across three, three or more devices. So when you go from one device to another, the user experience will be the same, your account settings will be the same, and anything you do on one machine will instantly show up on the other machine. You can edit them on one machine, finish it on another one. I'm going to do it on my desktop. I'll show you how it moves over to my laptop, and then finally I'll show you how it moves over to my uh, tablet, and then I'll show you how it moves all, how it works all together at the same time. It's pretty nifty. It took me a few days to get to work, but I did what micro I did something that Microsoft is wanting everybody to do. I'm doing it with a few few things you got to remember. I am not using any internet cloud-based services, so I'm not using Dropbox. I'm not using SkyDrive. I'm not using anything over the internet to store my files and pull them off the internet. It is all done and within my house. I have physical access to everything I do. So I store nothing online and I'm able to use any one of my devices at any time to work on something that I did on one machine to the other instantly without waiting. So let's get started. So I'm at my, I'm at my PC. I'm going to log in. Notice my start menu for the most part. Most, depending on what device I'm using, will depend what I have installed. But for the most part, the settings and the layout should all be the same. So I got my personal stuff like this. So let's go onto the desktop. So I'm at my desktop. This is local, remember, and none of my none of my programs are sharing between the internet so just remember that I make something on this desktop which we're gonna say a text document I'm gonna rename it and then call this test I'm gonna open it I'm gonna call this test test one I'm gonna I'm going to close it. So now I got a test file. I'm going to put it there. That was done on my desktop. I'm going to grab my laptop now. Same login screen. Same sign in method. Once again, just double look, double look over at my uh, laptop. I got my start again, my personal files for the most part, whatever applications I have, and my games again. So the start main, start screen's the same, same layout, everything. Go to my desktop, and what do we have here? We got a test file. I'm going to open it up. We'll see where it says test one. Let's edit this now. This is on my laptop now. Test two. So I'm going to close that. So I did that on my laptop. I'm going to go back to my tower. I'm going to open up test two. I mean test one. And see now I got test test two in there. Now let's move. Let's type and go. Moving on to my tablet PC, I'm going to put it there, close it. So now that I got that done, I'm going to pull up my tablet, which is right here. And turn it on. Same login screen, same sign in,
Once again, my start screen should pretty much be the same, except for the screen smaller, so the icons are a little bit further. But I got my type to search, personal files, my applications again, and my PC games. So I'm going to go to desktop, which these icons are all all out of place right now, but I'm just going to move them. So here's my test file I created on my desktop. Now it says um, I'm doing this one in Notepad instead of Word because I don't have Word in installed on here. I'm going to edit this one. I'm going to say I'm going to say finish test. So now, now it says test one, test two, moving on to my tablet, finish test. So that's my tablet. I'm going to go back to my desktop. Open up test one. Now it says finish test. Now if I go over here, I'm going to go to my start menu. I'm going to open up, let's say, my documents. I'm going to go to my tablet. So, so notice the files. I'm going to go to my tablet. Same thing. Notice, notice the... Uh, f I'm going to zoom in, but notice the uh, files are the same across. So I could go here. And I'm going to go over here. Make this bigger. So now I'm using my documents folder. I'm going to right click. Actually, I'm not going to right click. I'm going to move this over here instead. I'm going to take the test file, move it over into my documents folder, and instantly it showed up right there on the fly. I could take that, take that same one. I'm just going to show you the test files right there on my tablet. I'm going to take it on here. I'm going to delete it. Instantly it's gone on my tablet. The same thing would have happened if I showed you with my uh, netbook open. Uh, I mean my laptop open. I'm going to open my laptop. Now over here, look, look at the bottom, bottom right corner where my mouse is on my desktop behind should be like right near the, uh, there it is. I'm gonna go new text document. It's gonna be right there. It showed up right here. I'm gonna put it next to the trash can too. Just so you, just so they all show up in the same area. And this is near the trash can too. So now I got three devices. Each one has a text document right next to the trash can. I'm gonna go to my desktop again, the very back pick the back screen where the mouse is near the trash can. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard. Instantly it's gone on all three. Once again, this is I'm not using any cloud-based services, so once again, I'm not using Dropbox or anything. It's all internal on within within my household. Another another good example of cross of getting your stuff organized. Uh, iTunes, iTunes. You're allowed to activate up to five PCs on iTunes, so I could open up iTunes on my tower. Here's my playlists. 
Now I'm going to show you something on here. I'm going to go to sharing. Sharing libraries are disabled, so I'm not sharing my iTunes. This is very important to grasp. I'm not actually sharing my iTunes. So I can go all day, let's say, play some music. I could go to my laptop. Wait for it to load because it's going to be a bit slow. Here's my playlists again. And same thing all day. And that's playing from my laptop. Same, same music library, same music file. That one's on my laptop. Now, I'm going to pause that. Go to my tablet. Load up iTunes. Wait for it to load. It's going to be probably really slow. Now, I can guarantee all three devices don't have the same music on this, because my tablet's only 32 gigs, and my music's 400 gigs. So, here I am, I got my playlist again. My tablet's a bit slow for iTunes, so we're just going to have to be patient. As you can see, it's not fully loaded yet. Okay, now it's loaded. So it's got all my... We'll go to all day again. Now it's playing from a tablet. All three devices, one activation for iTunes, so I've only got one system activated. And it's playing them on all three devices, using the same library, same music files, no internet cloud-based service. And this iTunes, I'm just going to shrink the background. <laughs> Another thing down here, this is my favorites. On my laptop, down here. Same thing, same favorites list. Over here, I'm going to click on my music brings up my music, see where it says my name, music, as a file location, go over here, click on music, same thing, my name, file location, go to my tablet, pull it out, click on music, same thing, my name, file location. So anything I do within any of my folders, desktop, you name it, it works, it does it on one device, I move over to another device, I can continue right off from where I left it. So that is how you consolidate Windows 8 user experience across multiple devices, no matter what you're using. You sign on to one device, you do something on it, you leave your room, you pick up another Windows 8 device, you log into your account. You can pull instantly. You got the same desktop, same icons on it. You can load up that file, edit it, walk away from it, go to another device, load up that same file as soon as you log in, edit it, finish it, do whatever you want. Shut down all all machines. I could shut down every one of my machines, and I wouldn't lose any of my files. Load up, it'd be the same thing. I could, for an instant, I'm gonna use my tablet to do this. I'm gonna. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to go to my desktop. So now that I'm signed out, I'm going to actually take these 
four documents, I'm going to destroy them. Put them in the trash can. I'm going to pick up my tablet. I'm going to sign back in. Go to the desktop. Icons readjusted again. That's okay. But as you can see, I no longer have the four, four files I just trashed. And I did trash those into the trash can. Let's see if they actually show up in the trash can. Yeah, my four files are actually in the trash can, so even though I logged out of this one, did leave the files on that, logged back into this one, they're both showing that I deleted the file and it's in the trash can on both systems. This There is magic behind this, and I did actually sort of stage this setup. It took me about a week to get going, and since I'm not using any cloud-based services, there is there is something happening in the background. But it's my little secret right now, because I think it's kind of cool that I'm able to use do what Microsoft wants everybody to do, and I accomplished it in about a week worth of setting up. And the cool thing is, is if one machine, or if my tablet, my laptop, or my tower, or all three machines get destroyed, the hard drives just all go at the same time, I can actually physically still access my save all my files, my user documents, my desktop, all my settings, even though my settings and all that are not stored in the cloud. I have my own personal setup to do that. It took a while. It actually costed a little bit, but for an IT, for anybody in IT and administration, it's well worth the money when you're running multiple devices, one user account or multiple user accounts, and you want to make sure all your save files, all your documents, no matter what you do, is never lost. And you can restore any machine within an hour or two using a system image or something, back up, and you got your same settings all over again. So um, that is how you this that's how you can consolidate the Windows 8 experience and your user files across your network and no matter what device you picked up you got all your information and work there instantly at your fingertips and this is done with Windows 8 it's a lot easier to be done with Windows 8 I attempted to do this with Windows 7 and I did try to attempt to do this with Windows Vista but I couldn't get some of the functions to work but with the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, so far, my theory about going from one device to another and keeping the user experience is bang on so far. I haven't hit a hitch yet. So, the good news is you can do it. You can do it without, in, without an internet connection whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed this. I might reveal my secret on how I did it later, but for now, I'm still testing it. So, no questions on how I actually did it. It is physically possible. I'll catch you around.